Okay, great. Hi, I'm Dr. Kim Duramo, and I'm here with Cassandra Kolstad, who I wanted to interview because a couple of weeks ago, she sent me a really beautiful email sharing her experiences using mind-body medicine. And after a big struggle with Lyme disease and lots of obscure symptoms and not you know, having good resources or knowing what to do, she was able to use the resources that I've offered in my book or you know, free videos I've had and some really simple things to receive this and allow a major shift in her body where she's healed from symptoms, she's no longer sick, um, and she's also had really amazing synchronicities open up in her life with opportunities in work and, and things that just seem to come out of blue in the middle of a pandemic when you'd otherwise think like that stuff doesn't happen. Um, by coming into a higher frequency. So I wanted to share this and have her personally share her story and, and some of the journey with you because it's really an invitation to all of us to receive what's here for us, let it be simple, um, follow that heart, you know, that, that desire that we have for expansion and healing and letting life be easy instead of making healing be this big chore and we're working so hard at it and never really get there. Um, it was so refreshing to hear from you, Cassandra, and I'm excited to have you share your, your story with our viewers. Um, so could you just start with what was your journey like? What was it like experiencing um, the symptom? Where were you when you came to this work? Yeah, definitely. I'm so happy to be here. Um, in 2012, I was diagnosed with chronic Lyme disease, and some of the symptoms I was experiencing were chronic fatigue, I was tired all the time, uh, I had difficulty concentrating and brain fog, muscle soreness, some memory loss, and I was on antibiotics for years, which destroyed my body, destroyed my digestion, and I tried pretty much everything. I went to see specialists. I left my state to go see other doctors and they pretty much all told me the same thing that there was no cure and one doctor even told me uh to just take advil every day and that would cure everything for me that didn't work and i was so discouraged i i kind of gave up i just accepted that this would be my reality um, i would always struggle to do normal tasks struggle every day and and I, I accepted it as my, my new reality. And I just kept pushing myself harder and harder and harder and ignored all the messages that my body was trying to give me. And, and then I came across the World Tapping Summit where I listened to your segment on chronic fatigue. And the first thing that you said that resonated with me was take a moment to acknowledge your own journey and what a struggle it's been. And, and just honor your struggle and journey. And that's something I've never allowed myself to do before. So I just took a moment and I, I acknowledged that for myself and I felt an immediate shift. And then you said that you were able to cure your own chronic illness in 10 days by surrendering and, and feeling all your feelings and symptoms. And that se seemed way too simple to me, but everything you said resonated so much with me that I thought, why not? I mean, I've tried everything else. So I bought your book and I watched literally hundreds of your videos on YouTube. And within a few months, I came into the best health I've ever been in. Um, my lab results proved it. Uh, my white blood cell count was back up. My Lyme cells were lower. My thyroid was good, my adrenal functioning, my B12, my iron, everything was low for me. And, and it was all back to normal. I am 100% symptom free. I never thought this was possible for me and for my life. And just little th positive things started happening in my life. And I just never thought this was a possibility for me. Oh, wow. Thank you. There are a lot of people who have come to that space and the hopelessness that can go with it and the powerlessness and the frustration, um, especially when a lot of conventional medicine says this is not possible or, hey, you've got this and 
this is what you're going to have to deal with. So let's manage this. Um, what do you think was the thing that allowed you to really let this in when you did feel like, oh, I've already tried everything. I'm, de I'm depleted or this sounds too simple. What would you say just when, when I think of like for others listening, that could be the, the big key to open up and allow something when you do feel that defeated and that depleted, what would you say allowed you to, to find that spark and, and, and receive this? I think I did feel completely hopeless. I felt like there were no options for me and, and this was how my life was going to be. And I was just in such a low frequency and in a low vibration. But what allowed me to, to let this in is, is I, I wanted a better future for myself. Like I felt like I, did, I owed it to myself to, to keep trying and, and stop swimming upstream because that's exactly what I was doing. I was, I was going after a cure, trying to fix my disease, fighting against my symptoms because I didn't want to feel this way. It wasn't serving me. But in the process, I was actually making myself more sick. And so in that moment of surrender, I realized it, it doesn't have to be this hard. I can, I can just allow ease to come into my life instead of trying to create ease every second of every day. Yeah, that's a big, big, big piece I see for a lot of people. And exactly like you said, um, when, you, when you heard the words about letting yourself become aware of and acknowledge how hard it had actually been like just giving yourself that is an act of generosity to let the self receive something like instead of striving striving overcoming be positive we hold out on ourselves and then we're even more depleted because we don't even give ourselves that appreciation or acknowledgement or credit for how much um we've put on ourselves or how much has been put on us by this experience um, so what would you say um, made the biggest difference or was there a pop or an insight or a particular thing in the book or something that really spoke to you? Yeah, I think that the thing that spoke, well, worked for me the best from your book was the instant elevation technique. And it seemed so simple to me when I first read it, but it completely revolutionized the relationship that I have with my body just checking in and saying like, how are you? I see you, I see that you're suffering. I know this has been hard. What do you need from me? That changed, it, it was me versus me all the time. And, and now it's just me versus the world and, and allowing the messages to come to me instead of suppressing everything. Um, that made all the difference. To, all this time my body was, was giving me these symptoms as signals that, hey, I'm not okay, I need help, I need attention. And I was just suppressing them and ignoring them. And, and now I can really receive what exactly my body needs from me. Well, that's a pattern I've seen with Lyme, is that it's very often people who are achievers, go-getters, maybe a little type A, um, per persistent, I'm, and then I'm gonna do this. And, but then they end up pushing themselves through this experience or like um, pushing themselves through life and not actually being in compassion with themselves through life. So it's a huge depletion. It's a self-driven depletion. And I think we learn that a lot in society, even in the like, be positive. So that like overachiever, which gets so much kudos in society but is actually a toxic way of being with the body like why do we need to overachieve or push ourselves or keep going so i think this is um a really typical thing that i've seen for a lot of people where lime is you know you're a great host for this particular pathogen and the vibration of that um lime pathogen because every every bacteria virus um you spirochete, you know, they have a frequency, they have a consciousness. We've seen this in microbiology studies. And so if we are a match for that consciousness of like 
victim, which I'll see a lot of like candida, yeast overgrowth, problems with candida, but then I call it like a victim with a side of overachiever. And that is what I'll see with Lyme. And I'm not the only practitioner who has noticed this. Uh, there are a lot of other people I've talked to who will say the same thing right on. Um, so what would you say to people viewing, and your videos come on a little in and out, but I'm going to just go with it because I, I think there's such richness in your authenticity and what you're sharing. What would you say to people who are in that situation, either with Lyme or, or even just chronic pain or chronic fatigue, uh, autoimmune, like anything, bowel disease, but where they have that, I've tried everything and hopelessness um, at the bottom of it, what would you have to say? I would say try to meet your symptoms with love and compassion because I never even realized a certain personality type could be more susceptible to this virus. So I was so cruel to myself and so hard on myself and I just pushed myself to go, 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 fix this, find a cure, toxic positivity, I just would like to invite people in this space of hopelessness to just take a minute, breathe, just breathe into what you're feeling, breathe into your symptoms, just see your symptoms and ask yourself what you can do for yourself out of a space of love and compassion and, instead of cruelty and, and pushing yourself. Just surrender, just breathe. And there is hope. I see you and there is hope for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's one of the reasons. Um, and I created a whole program around the instant elevation technique to go deeper. But even if you just use that as a simple go-to, moment to moment, practice three times a day, like that's why it's so powerful. It's like it's a really simple way to have a profound realignment. So I'm just so glad you can share that you did do it in a really simple way and allowed it and let it in and had really extraordinary results. And thank you. Continue to, to share this with people because I think people do see, oh, what my doctor says is the law. And they said, I'll always have this and therefore that means, and then you, you're not pausing to think, is this actually true for me? Um, is there something else that's possible for me? And that's a big part of that openness to receive something higher and allow in a new experience. So. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you sharing. And um, thanks for everybody for, for listening. And we'll, you know, if there are comments on here, I'll stay tuned in. And if there's anything that Cassandra um, has to share, I can reach out with her on that as well. So feel free to post questions or comments. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you can subscribe. Um, and if you're in, in Facebook, join us in the mind body community, because that's where the conversation continues. And there's a lot of really amazing stuff happening in there. I'm at drkimd.com and you can subscribe for further free tools and videos and tune into what I'm doing. So lots of love everybody. And thanks for watching. And thanks, Cassandra.